So my name is Abhi, Abhi Trigunet. I work for an organization called ZS, ZS Associates. I work as a CTO uh, there. And uh, the role the organization plays is leveraging AI in creating impact across the business ecosystem. So we work with uh, clients uh, across the industry, predominantly in healthcare, but we have clients all the way from airlines to hotel chains to, of course, life sciences. The topic today was that of automated uh, feature, feature engineering at scale. That was the topic. And then we broke it into two sections where we talked about what feature engineering is, the need for automated feature engineering, how do you do scale it, and then finally, how do you productize it as well? So, so we spent it uh, in those three segments is how we did it. In terms of key takeaways, uh, people do need to know how to leverage uh, the, the power of automation even in terms of feature engineering and, and machine learning development. But once it's developed, uh, how do you take that into actual production, but then going beyond into productization? So completing the whole ecosystem, starting from the science part of development to the engineering and into further deployment. Uh, I also want to make sure that people do see that uh, this is the way things will be done in future because the way the number of features and, and, and uh, the, the variables and vectors are increasing, very soon it will be almost impossible for the human mind to, to you know, comprehend all of those. So bringing the people and the technology together to kind of you know, create success is what I would recommend them to take away. So, so the way to answer that question is to sort of break it into in different industry verticals and so on. So there are certain interesting verticals, of course, which are much big time into computer vision. Uh, there, like for example, if you look at uh, the, the automated car industry, of course, big time, big time into computer vision. Uh, similarly, if you look at the e-commerce, there is still big time into forecasting and you know your supply, demand, supply curves, and so forth. So I think a lot depends on the industry we're talking. The good news is we are seeing uptake in all those areas, and ML and AI being adopted wholeheartedly everywhere. Uh, the other good trend we also see that beyond the hype, people are now evaluating the models where they were generating real impact because people are moving beyond just the proof of concept into more mainstream which is getting the feedback to them which then is allowing them to you know further improve the efficacy and the, and, and the efficiency of these models to create much further impact in these areas uh, a few other things which we also see uh, AIML sort of creeping creeping into including automated investing into you know your your edge computing through mobile devices uh, also into e-learning and, and, so, and, per, and personalized you know, behavioral analytics and so forth. So I think there are n number of use cases and it's very heartening for uh, the, the AI ML community that you know, we're just growing pretty much everywhere. No, great, great, great question. That is one of the things we covered uh, in the session as well, where we talked about feature engineering at scale and of course, you know, how do you productize the whole thing. Uh, but if you think about the entire problem statement uh, that, that we're trying to solve with AI and ML is how do we get intelligent and do better predictions at a very, very, you know, uh, high level if you define the problem statement. And there, every industry has its own nuanced problem statement to cater to. And that's where consultants and experts like us, ZS, uh, comes in, where we take you the whole nine yards, all the way from the way the data is getting collected, the nuances and the challenges that you run into from a data standpoint, from DQM checks to data wrangling and so on, into the actual model development, which of course is very business business specific. And we apply a lot of our own domain expertise that we have learned over the years working across multiple clients and so on. And then not just stopping there, but going beyond into productizing it, leveraging a lot of the cloud players and also the niche platforms and the assets that we have also built uh, within, within the organization. So the way to look at it, how do you scale? Uh, first, identify the problem statement and then see how you can you know, take it to, to mass scale through ideas of uh, the different types of model you're going to use for different uh, types of ways to scale the model and how do you productize it to achieve maximum efficiency and how do you do it in an iterative and agile way. So diversity is a very important topic. I'm glad you are bringing it up. And it's a very important topic, not just something which is close to my heart, but also to ZS as an organization. Uh, we have uh, an initiative going on within our organization, which we call as HER, uh, appropriately worded, uh, which does stands for hiring, engagement, and retention. 
with the goal that how do we improve the, the women workforce uh, into our organization. But to also answer a question particularly from a data science, uh, the her strategy that we are taking is also very well applicable to our data science community as well. But at large, outside ZS or in general, trying to bring people from different walks of life is certainly, certainly one way to go. The other way also is to kind of show these areas as promising growth areas to our like you know uh, women colleagues as well, whether in the college or whether coming out into the, the industry, just have to ensure that they feel that this is something that is genuinely you know applicable and also interesting uh, for them. Uh, there are a lot of these programs which uh, are ongoing where people are talking about you know uh, engineers training engineers like you know one's post teaching teaching of engineers or people taking uh, a very calculated move in terms of identifying opportunities and areas, how do we improve the engagement and bring more of those on the force. One interesting story probably worth sharing, uh, people who have seen Mangalyan, if not, please, please go and see. Uh, there's an interesting uh, uh, story which they kind of convey there. But there's a scene where they're talking about this uh, woman scientist and she's coming up with this uh, unique idea of her learning from, uh, from uh, like, you know, creating puris and how you can apply it into launching a rocket. So imagine if some of those learning can be applied to data science, uh, what kind of solutions we all gonna create. So it's, it's amazing, uh, again as organization, as individual, we are very, very supportive of that. It's been great. Uh, it's always, always fun to come and meet uh, fellow data scientists and machine learning engineers. And uh, also along with that, also hear from fellow peer you know, specialists who are coming in, bringing their point of view, their learning, uh, which again is, is a great learning exercise. And so we can really go back and, and adapt uh, in our organization and also share our own learnings. So, you know, is that uh, learning and sharing with each other so we both uh, thrive.